guys and welcome back to reading club so today i'm going to read you my weird school miss small is off the wall the last chapter chapter 11 grown-ups are weird recess is the best time of the day because that's when we get to go out in the playground while the teachers do all the boring things grown-ups do when kids aren't around Lately, Andrea was practicing her juggling during recess. She put on her dumb show, and kids in the other classes would gather around and watch, like she was famous or something. But today, Andrea wasn't juggling. She and Emily were just sitting on the monkey bars looking all serious, like the world was about to end. Me and Michael and Ryan couldn't resist going over to bug them. What's the matter with you? I asked Andrea. Did you set your house on fire while you were juggling? No, she said. We're worried about Miss Small. What about her? asked Ryan. We're afraid she might die, Emily said. What? I said. You're nuts. All she did was break her leg. Miss Small is a quarter of a century old, Andrea said. That's like ancient. Old ladies aren't supposed to run around and jump up and down and play games all the time. Old people are supposed to sit around talking about the weather and eating and reading the newspaper and complaining about the kids today and telling us to be quiet. Miss Small doesn't do any of those things. She's like a big kid. She grew tall, but she never grew up. My dad is a doctor, said Emily. He told me that when old people fall down, they can get hurt really badly. They can even die. Wow, I didn't know that. If Miss Small dies, it'll be our fault, Andrea said. For a while, nobody said anything. Maybe Andrea was right for it once in her life. We've got to do something, said Emily. We should talk to her, Andrea said. We need to tell her she has to grow up and act mature like other adults. So all of us, me, Michael, Ryan, Andrea, and Emily, went around the school to the gym. We figured that's where Miss Small would be during recess. Shh, Andrea said as we snuck around the corner. If Principal Klutz catches us, we could be in big trouble. Me and Michael and Ryan got down on our hands and knees and pretended to be undercover agents on a secret police mission. It was cool. Finally, we reached the back door to the gym. We may have to pick the lock like they always do in police movies, Ryan whispered. Then they run inside and shout, freeze dirt bags. No, Michael said. In the movies, they kick the door in with their feet and shout, freeze dirt bags. No, they don't, I told them. They use bombs to blow the door off the hinges. Then they run inside and shout, freeze dirt bags. Maybe the door isn't even locked, Emily said. The door is always locked, dumbhead, I said. Why else would they have to blow it off the hinges? Andrea put her hand on the doorknob and turned it. And you know what? The door opened. Me and Michael and Ryan ran inside the gym just like they do in all the police movies. Freeze, dirt bags, we shouted. And there in the gym was the most amazing sight any of us had ever seen. All the grown-ups who work in the school was there. Every one of them, and they were going crazy. Mr. Klutz, the principal, was doing the chicken dance. Our teacher, Miss Daisy, was playing hopscotch. Mrs. Rupi, our librarian, was hula hooping. Miss Hannah, our art teacher, was jumping rope. Miss Small was clapping her hands and singing that annoying hillbilly music. All the other teachers were doing the limbo and other equally weird stuff. They all stopped what they were doing and stared at me and Michael and Ryan. What are you doing here, boys? Miss Small asked. Uh. I looked at Ryan and Michael. They were doing that whistling thing you do when you want to pretend you didn't do anything wrong. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. I had to think fast. The question is, what are you doing here? I asked. 
Why aren't you all sitting around talking about the weather and eating and drinking coffee and reading the newspaper and doing other grown-up stuff? We're having fun, Mr. Klutz said. Why should you kids have all the fun, said Miss Daisy. Yeah, we want to play too, Mrs. Ruby said. This is the only time we have all day to relax, said Miss Hannah. Yeah, said all the other grown-ups. Lighten up. Grown-ups are weird. Me and Michael and Ryan ran out of there as fast as we could and went back to the playground. I hoped that Miss Daisy wouldn't tell my mom and dad that I called all the grown-ups at our school dirtbags. Back on the playground, we decided that Miss Small really does have a serious problem. And now it's spreading to all the other teachers. Somehow, we're going to have to think of a way to make Miss Small grow up and act mature and boring like a normal adult. But it won't be easy. So that's the end of this book. I hope you enjoyed my channels of it. And if you did, please click many likes and subscribe reading club. So I'll come back later with a new and improved book. Bye everybody. See you later.